Now, it's looking a bit still. Don't we wish that we could animate it? Don't we wish that it would bob up and down or something like that? Hey, what a good idea! I think so too. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to use React Animations. Built into React. Pretty easy to use. We're going to need this object, this animated object. And that's pretty much all we're going to need. Oh, we're also going to need um, to import a use effect because we need to use effects. If you've used React before, which you should have, you will be very familiar with this, this little number. And this is going to be on, yeah, when, it, when there's an empty list here, it just means it's going to run once at the very beginning. We want to create const animated value. Animated equals new animated dot value. Set it to zero. And how long do we want this to go for? Our animation, our up and down animation, we'll just give it. 800 milliseconds, which is pretty good. Then we're going to animate, we're going to animate the object to move up and we're going to animate the object to move down in a sequence. So the way to do that so what you would normally do if you want to create an animation, you go animated.timing, which means that over the time period, animated timing, animated, and then we give an object, and we're going to go to value. Basically means this animated value starts at zero. We want to animate it to, say, 20. Ugh, get out of the way. And then the duration, which is going to be the duration we just created. Yes, we get it. And then use native driver to true. It's just I'm not really sure what that is, but I know that it's needed. So actually let's change this to five thousand. So and actually we'll call this we'll come with a We've got a better name for this. This will be translate y, which is exactly what we're going to be changing. We're going to go down here and to animate a view, we're going to change this from a view to an animated view. And style. Should be all that we need, I think. Yeah. And a name, a little spelling error, and in a There we go, let's fix that. Now, when we reload, hopefully it'll float upwards really slowly. It's not. Hmm. Why is that? Does it need to be in this? Try again. Hmm, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Ah, we didn't actually start the animation yet. That's that was silly. We have to call start. Let's try again. There we go. Ah, it's actually moving down very, 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 very slowly. Yep, that's exact. You know, we'll change it and we'll do it 200. Try again. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Now, we actually want it to move down and then back up. So we'll change this. So we're gonna we're gonna have two 
animations in sequence. So it's going to go up to 200 and then it's going to go back to zero. But we can't just, the way that we need to call these is we need to wrap these, this, these two animations in a sequence. They are a sequence of animations. I wonder what type of object we're going to need for that. Oh, a sequence! That's right. A sequence object as a list. And I'm going to add indent these like that. And then now we're going to press start on our sequence. Now when I save that, uh, move one of these, save that. Now it's going to go all the way down. And then it should come all the way back up. How good was that? All right, so we're going to change this back to 20, and we're going to change this back to about 80, uh, about 800 milliseconds. So it went up and down very, very slowly. Now we want this animation to loop. We want it to loop over and over and over, essentially forever. So we're going to put every single thing inside an animated dot loop. Now when we save that, come back, we should bob up and down essentially forever, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, reload that just so it clears, make sure it's all good. Yep. Now we have a nice little splash animation. How good is that?